Here we are going to see tutorial based on product condensation error. An IAR system is given with the transfer function h of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus 0.35 is set inverse multiplied by 1 minus 0.62 is set inverse. And the products here are rounded to 4 bits. We are going to draw the product condensation noise model and also we are going to find the round of noise power using direct form realization as well as cascade form realization. In the problem statement it is given the products are rounded to 4 bits including the sign bit. So we can find the input condensation noise error which is sigma e square equal to 2 power minus 2b by 12. This b corresponds to number of bits excluding the sign bit. So here in this case b is equal to 3 which is equal to 2 power minus 2 multiplied by 3 divided by 12 which is equal to 1.3021 multiplied by 10 power minus 3. First we will go with direct form realization. Given the transfer function is equal to h of z, when you are going for direct form realization, we are going to represent this transfer function h of z as 1 divided by 1 minus 0.97 is set inverse plus 0.217 is set power minus 2. Now we are going to draw the product condensation noise model using the direct form realization. We know the direct form realization input is x of n, output is y of n. So here only poles we are having. So first term is actually x of z that is uh, the input. The second term is minus 0.97 is set inverse. Actually this term is the coefficient of y of z. So the output y of n it is delayed by one unit is set inverse and is multiplied by coefficient 0.97. At the end of the multiplier we are going to add an error symbol. Because when you are rounding off this, you will get an error. That is a product condensation error. Next, that is added with the third term. Here we are having 0.217 is set power minus 2. This is also a coefficient of y of z. So the output y of n, it is delayed by 2 units. And is multiplied by minus 0.217. So at the end of the multiplier, because of round off, some error will be introduced. That is the product condensation error. That is represented by e2 of n. That is added with the previous value. So we will get the product condensation noise model. In this we are having two errors e1 of n e2 of n because of the two multipliers. When you consider this e1 of n this e1 of n will affect this whole h of z. Similarly when you are taking e2 of n e2 of n will also affect this whole h of z. Actually we can find the output noise power using this equation sigma epsilon square which will be equal to input noise power sigma e square multiplied by 1 by 2 pi j closed contour of h of z the transfer function multiplied by h of z inverse into z inverse dz. Here we are having two error functions e1 of n as well as e2 of n. The output noise power due to e1 of n that is represented by sigma epsilon 0 1 square. The output noise power due to the errors e2 of n is represented by sigma epsilon 0 2 square. So the total output noise power it is the sum of these two terms. In direct form both the noise signals e1 of n as well as e2 of n will affect the same h of z. So the output noise power due to e1 of n which is equal to the output noise power due to e2 of n. Now we are going to find the output noise power. We know that the transfer function h of z is given by 1 by 1 minus 0.35 is set inverse into 1 minus 0.62 is set inverse. Then this h of z is z square by z minus 0.35 multiplied by z minus 0.62. For this problem statement, the transfer function is given like this. So h of z inverse can be represented by z power minus 2 divided by z inverse minus 0.35 multiplied by z inverse minus 0.62. Now the output noise power is equal to input noise power multiplied by 1 by 2 pi j. This is h of z. This term is h of z inverse into z inverse dz. Now we are having the poles z is equal to 0.35, z is equal to 0.62, z is equal to 1 by 0.35 z is equal to 1 by 0.62. Here the first two poles are less than 1 and these two poles are greater than 1. For making the system to be stable, we are going to consider the poles which are lying inside the unit circuit. So we are going to consider z is equal to 0.35 and 0.62. The output noise power which is equal to input noise power multiplied by residue of h of z, h of z inverse, z inverse due to the pole z is equal to 0.35 and residue of h of z, h of z inverse, z inverse due to the pole z is equal to 0.62. The output noise power is equal to the noise power due to E1 of n plus the noise power due to E2 of n. In direct form, the noise power due to E1 of n 
is equal to noise power due to E2 of n. So, the output noise power is equal to 2 times noise power due to E1 of n. The output noise power due to E1 of n is equal to the input noise power. First is the residue due to the pole Z is equal to 0.35. So, Z minus 0.35 into H of Z, H of Z inverse, Z inverse. Next, we are going to take the residue for the pole Z is equal to 0.62. So, Z minus 0.62 multiplied by H of Z, H of Z inverse into Z inverse. When you are cancelling out the terms Z power 2 and Z power minus 2, Z minus 0.35, Z minus 0.35 and we can substitute Z is equal to 0.35. Similarly, in the second term, we can cancel out Z power 2 and Z power minus 2, Z minus 0.62 and Z minus 0.62 and we can substitute Z is equal to 0.62. The output noise power due to E1 of n which is equal to input noise power multiplied by minus 1.8867 plus 4.7640. We know that the input noise power sigma e square is equal to 1.3021 multiplied by 10 power minus 3. So the output noise power due to the first error signal which is equal to 3.7465 multiplied by 10 power minus 3. The total output noise power is equal to 2 times the output noise power due to any one of the error signal. The total output noise power is equal to 2 times 3.7465 into 10 power minus 3. So the output noise power due to direct form realization is equal to 7.493 into 10 power minus 3. For cascade form realization, we can take H of Z in terms of H1 of Z multiplied by H2 of Z. So H1 of Z is equal to 1 by 1 minus 0.35 Z inverse and H2 of Z is equal to 1 by 1 minus 0.62 Z inverse. This is the product condensation noise model due to cascade form realization. Here the input is X of N, output is Y of N. So to the input we are giving H1 of Z, the output of that is given the input for the H2 of Z. When you are taking H1 of Z, we are having only poles. So first term corresponds to X of Z, that is the input X of N. And the second term, the output is delayed by one unit and is multiplied by 0.35. When you are performing round off at the output of a multiplier, because of condensation we will get sudden error. That output it is given as the input for the second transfer function H2 of Z. Here also we are having first term corresponds to the input. And second term corresponds to the output, output delayed by one unit and is multiplied by 0.62. So at the output of a multiplier, we are having an error function due to condensation. Here we are having two error functions E1 of n as well as E2 of n. When you are considering E1 of n, E1 of n will affect the whole H1 of Z as well as H2 of Z. That is the total H of Z. When you are taking the second error function E1 of n, it will affect only this part that is H2 of Z. So the output noise due to error signal E1 of n we are represented as sigma epsilon 0 1 square. Similarly for the second error function we will represent as sigma epsilon 0 2 square. Now we will find the output noise power due to the first error signal. The output noise power is equal to the input noise power multiplied by 1 by 2 pi j close contour H of Z, H of Z inverse, Z inverse, DZ. We obtain what is the output noise power for the whole H of Z already in the direct. So the output noise power due to first error function E1 of n which is equal to 3.7465 multiplied by 10 power minus 3. The output noise power due to error signal E2 of n is represented by sigma epsilon 0 2 square. Here the second error function will affect only H2 of Z. So the output noise power due to the second error function which is equal to sigma E square 1 by 2 pi j close contour of H2 of Z multiplied by H2 of Z inverse Z inverse. Z. We know that H2 of Z is equal to 1 by 1 minus 0.62 Z inverse. That can be rewritten as Z by Z minus 0.62. So H2 of Z inverse will be equal to Z inverse divided by Z inverse minus 0.6. Output noise power due to the second error signal which is equal to input noise power 1 by 2 pi j. This term is H2 of Z multiplied by H2 of Z inverse Z inverse D Z. Here we are having two poles. Z is equal to 0.62 and Z is equal to 1 by 0.62. For maintaining stability we are going to consider only the poles which are lying inside the unit circle. So we are going to consider only the pole Z is equal to 0.62. So the output noise power due to the second error signal which is equal to input noise power we are going to find residue for the pole at Z is equal to 0.62. So Z minus 0.62 this is H2 of Z multiplied by H2 of Z inverse into Z inverse. Here we can cancel this Z and Z inverse Z minus 0.62 and Z minus 0.62 and substitute Z is equal to 0.62. So the output noise power due to the second error signal which is equal to input noise power multiplied by 4.7640. So the output noise power due to the error signal E2 of n is equal to 2.11 
5 1 multiplied by 10 power minus 3. Now we are going to find the total output noise power. The total output noise power will be equal to the noise power due to the error signal E1 of n plus the noise power due to the error signal E2 of n. So the output noise power is equal to 3.7465 into 10 power minus 3 plus 2.1151 into 10 power minus 3 which is equal to 5.8616 into 10 power minus 3. We are comparing direct form realization with the cascade form realization. For direct form realization the output noise power is 7 into 10 power minus 3. When you are taking the output noise power due to cascade form it is 5 into 10 power minus 3. So the product noise round of power is less in cascade form realization when compared with direct form realization. Thank you for watching this video.